Oh, excuse me. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And I said, God damn! In your pants. Even more Halloween news. Even more fucking Halloween news. And it just keeps coming! <laughs> so sorry for those people of Pompeii. Uh -oh. First off, let's take a look. Uh, Trick or Treat Studios, who does fantastic fucking work, we've unboxed some of their Halloween masks before. They uh, weren't going to reveal what the new Halloween 2018 mask looked like until July 23rd. But they did. The trailer came out. Now they've revealed it. Yeah, the mask sculpted by Christopher Nelson, award-winning FX artist and all-around badass fucking dude who did an amazing job making the new Halloween mask. Um, Sculpted by him, Vincent Van Dyke, and Justin Mabry, who you'll see do a lot of the other trick-or-treat masks and all the awesome work that they do over there. Let's take a look at this together, Jay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Stop! I, I open up a song. It does look good. There's the mask right there. Now, you can pre-order this right now, and you're not going to get it until around, I think it's, uh, I want to say August or September, maybe, uh, that they're going to actually send them out, but they are up for pre-order right now. And this is glorious. I think that Trick or Treat's a pretty uh, worthy website, too, to order any uh, Halloween masks from because it seems like, you know, you'll sometimes order a mask and you think it looks like one way in the pictures because they fucking use lighting to make it look really badass. And then when you get it, you're like, holy shit, this is a fucking Walmart mask. But this one looks good. And I think that Trick or Treat has been, uh, for the most part, uh, on the up and up when they send you the mask. Based on their pictures, I think it's going to be exactly what you get. So My favorite thing they've done is the uh, Halloween 6 mask. They've done a badass job with yeah. that. We've got them sitting back there in the background right now. Hi, Micah! Hi! Uh, oh, hi, Mark. I like how they call it Old Man Myers, too. Yeah. <laughs> old hey. Man Logan. He's got that look to him, too. Now, just the way that it's like sculpted, like uh, it kind of looks like William Shatner. It looks like William Shatner, and it also looks a little bit like the H6 mask, probably more than in any of the shots that we saw of Michael wearing it. This has a lot of the H6 to it, like just with the, like the crevices, <laughs> the crevices, the crevices, the little indentions in it. Man, he looks scary. He as looks fuck. like uh, he looks like Michael Douglas and falling down. Yeah. <laughs> now, when they when they announced that Trick or Treat was gonna be doing these, like I knew they were gonna be badass, man. But this is actually surprised me with how good it looks. I mean, it still looks scary. Like it, it, it looks fucking scary, which is is rare for Halloween masks. Like the the original one obviously was scary as fuck. So the retail is like uh, fifty nine ninety nine, yeah. which is a pretty goddamn good deal if you get, if you're really thinking about it. As far as like a sixty buck dollar mask with the quality that they're going to give you, it's also got the little uh, holes in the side, yeah, where, which you, you know, can see in the trailer. Also, yeah. it does. So it's got it's got the details that are there, so it looks fucking good. The eye in in the trailer and in the stills, the eye uh, looks a little bit more fucked up in the movie stills and stuff. Like you can't see that as much here, but I think that's also because he had a prosthetic. Well, no, he, well. So if you want to make a complete authentic mask, just make sure you take a clothesline and put it in your eyeball. Yeah, just stab yourself. Just stab yourself once. Do it for the cause. Now you do see a little bit of the greenage going on right there, uh, and well, that, reminds me, that reminds me a lot of the the Rob Zombie mask. Now they said like uh, the the British uh, crime documentary guys who show up and, and hold the mask up in front of them like a bunch of fucking idiots who got what they deserved with a decapitated head against the toilet wall. Yeah, we know now. Um, yeah. We know we, it's we not. It, it wasn't Michael's fucking head. <laughs> we get it. Uh, but you see a little bit of the greenish there. And this is the wear and tear of 40 years, which is how Christopher Nelson said he wanted to make it. Now, he said he did embellish a little bit. Like, typically the mask wouldn't look this bad after 40 years, but they wanted to add a little bit to it, some theatrics. Man, the hair is always important on these masks. The hair looks dope. I'm just... The main thing I pick up, dude, from looking at this and the side-to-side -side views, you get three pictures of it here, is that he still looks fucking scary. His mouth, like his lower jaw, is a little bit contorted. You see how it's contorted a little bit to the left? Yeah. And his forehead goes a little bit the other way. And Christopher Nelson said when he made this, he wanted to make it so that it looks different every single time. Well, and also, it. he's got a little bit more of an underbite. Yeah. If you look at the jaws jutting out more from the uh, upper lip than normal, and then most masks that you've seen in a while. And uh, if you think about the way it would be lit... Like, if you're going to wear it, or, I don't know, for, like, a Halloween party or something and try to score with Stacy, uh, it would definitely, like, as far as, like, a Halloween costume, if you have a cosplay going on or, or an idea for one, that would be the mask to go with as far as, like, if you went to the, the party or whatever and just the way that the light and the shadow is going to move on, it's going to look, you're going to win. Yeah. You're going to win. Maybe not. If somebody comes fully on dressed as Bumblebee, 
they're going to win. Let's go to Kroger, see what happens, you know? Maybe have some chicken, maybe some sex. Get some I don't milk. know. But like I said, dude, I'm just, I'm the most, the thing I'm most impressed about with the mask is in the trailer and on here and everywhere I see it, man, it looks different every single time. Like they said they were going to go for that and they fucking nailed it. He looks like the, the picture you're showing me right now really just makes me feel like a substitute teacher that's like really unimpressed with my antics and was like you're gonna write at least 500 lines of text I'm like why so that's the first bit of news we have a three-parter right here variety did a an interview with jamie lee curtis david gordon green and it brought up some new stuff that we didn't know about it so it's nothing huge but it's kind of fun to talk about don't make sounds like that when you're mm. sucking down kool-aid <laughs> so directly from the article some pretty cool like just fucking easter egg information that came out was uh, it turns out they have Jake Gyllenhaal to thank for it, talking about the movie. The actor's a family friend. Curtis refers to him as her unofficial grandson, and he tracked her down while she was on vacation in the mountains with her husband, actor Christopher Guest. To I hope that when he tracked her down, she was literally in the room doing the dance from True Lies, and her husband was sitting there with a recordable uh, uh, microphone just going, no, no, do it slow. He probably, he probably was. I was. Sexy. And, and the fact that you say he tracked them down in the mountains, I, I guess he never really gave up that nightcrawler persona. Buy a ticket! To put in a plug for David Gordon Green, the reboot's director, Gyllenhaal urged Curtis to take Green's call. The two would work together on 2017 Stronger, which Gyllenhaal told Curtis was the greatest experience of his professional career. And they hit it off immediately. So Jake Gyllenhaal is a big part of why we have Jamie Lee Curtis and probably a big part of how we're even getting the Halloween movie because yeah. they had the script worked out and built with Jamie Lee Curtis in mind. So if she didn't do it, which was probably a big fucking if at the time. Well, for the studios, for sure. Yeah. Like, they needed some kind of star power to really... Well, you know, they, light the fires again. And they even said, they were like, oh, we, we needed John Carpenter involved in this, and we, we needed Jamie Lee Curtis involved in, the, in this, because that's what we really wanted to bring it all back together. So if, if Jake Gyllenhaal hadn't have done that, then who knows, we might not be even fucking talking about a Halloween so, movie right now, which is crazy pants. Today's work culture no longer caters to the job loyalty that could be promised to earlier generations. It means that Jake Gyllenhaal will be in the sequel. Dude, that's what I said. I, I think Ben Tramer. Ben fucking Tramer. Be ben Tramer. Dude, Jake. Jake. I'm not fucking interested. Instead, I'm gonna drive home and do some accounting. She went on to talk about H2O and how this is different, how it's the same, all that stuff like that. But um, here's what she said about H2O. H2O started out with the best intentions, but it ended up being a money gig. As things do. The film had some good things in it. It talked about alcoholism and trauma, but it, I ended up really doing it for the paycheck. Well, at least she's honest. You know, basically, that just sums up every woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it started out really good and honest, and then all Nobody of a sudden... Nobody ever dated you for the paycheck, I know, Jay. No, no, for the money that I was going to give them. $40 at the end of the night. Son of a bitch, I thought we had a connection. I've never heard... Them. I've heard a lot of things in my day, but I've never heard a woman say, I'm with them for his money. No, no, no. Not I'm not like I wasn't making a lot, but it's like 40 bucks to make you holler. It's like, okay, well, I thought we had something. It's like, no, I was paid to do that. It's like, shit. I shouldn't have got you from that 1 900 number. But how do you guys feel about that? Well, then, you know what? I, I'll, I'll say it, it makes total sense. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of love for H2O, and that's fine. And I'm, I'm not like against H2O. I, I like H2O. It's still, it's cool. But I've always had my reservations about H2O. Like, H2O felt very clean. It felt, it felt very studio quality, I, and that, there's nothing wrong with that, but it, it, it did feel like a cash-in in a lot of ways because they waited for the 20 years later, and they marketed it, and it just felt very, um, not Disney World, but more of an attraction rather than an actual uh, attempt at, to tell a horror story with Michael Myers returning again. It felt like you could and, buy it at the And moment. I think that she's right. I think that you... you yeah, like Hot Topics. Yeah. Like, I think that it was one of those... Not even Hot Topics, but, like, memories. Well, there were so many <laughs> fucked up problems with that movie anyway. Like, the fact that they, they screwed the mask up royally multiple times by using CG. And, and the dailies that came out of that movie were, like, fucking garbage. Like, he looked like an alien. And actually, the original trailer, if you guys go back and watch it on YouTube, you can see the original trailer for H2O. The, 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 the part where he looks through the little circular door at Jamie Lee Curtis and she's like, uh -huh. It's it's that it's that alien mask. It doesn't even. It, it's all CG. It looks like shit. That's the original mask that they were gonna go with. And then there was such a negative feedback on that when they were releasing it through the dailies in the trailer. They fixed it, thank God. But it still looked like shit. So there was a and and not. I liked him, but they had LL Cool J in there. They had you know the heartthrob at the time, Josh Hartnett in there. Even though I like Josh Hartnett's character, it still felt. They even had the motherfucker from Jumanji in it. I mean, they were really going with like. Good looking kids. Wait, who George Clooney was in it? The fucking Alan. Oh, the George Clooney? Alan. Uh, poor man's George Clooney? 
No, no. Oh, the kid. Yeah, the kid. yeah, yeah. That yeah. was Alex. Oh my fuck! I yeah. never realized yeah. that. Holy shit! It's like, did you say with a broken glass? You let that guy get fired with that fucking tennis shoe. You piece of shit. You deserved everything Michael gave you. David Allen Greer is a god. Uh, well, yeah. Time. So, but either way, like, it did feel very. Um, I don't know. Teen boppy of the month at points in the movie. Now, sometimes there were issues in that movie, or there were scenes in that movie. You're like, okay, I. That's where you probably like what Jamie Lee Curtis is talking about. The alcoholism and the depression and trying to deal with this fucking horror that she's gone through where they were going to go in a different direction. But they were like, we need this. We need the snappy snap, pat, pat. And then they went somewhere else. I'm like, let's just make this, this, and that and cash in on it really quick. I mean, like, H2O was a cash grab. Like, it's what it was. Yeah. But but I, I understand what she's saying. And why I don't disagree with it is I like it when people are honest about shit like this. Yeah. Like, most of the time, people money. cookie cutter and, that, and whatever. And you know what? You might not like it. But she said how it was, and they also screwed her over, over with that a little bit because they told her this. They told her that this was basically what the new movie is going to be. They're like, this is going to be the end. It's going to be the final chapter. And then at some point, they threw the the spin on him that were like, oh, by the way, we're throwing in this story. You're going to love it. He just puts his mask over security guard. He cuts off security guard's head. Michael's not even dead. This movie doesn't mean shit. And we need you to come back for another one if you really want to wrap and it up. And she was like, how much? <laughs> like at that, I mean, at that point, like why the fuck would you care? Like she. What so she's she not, with the I'm not putting words in her mouth, but the, based on that little statement alone, she's pretty much saying that she was into the idea and she was really wanting to give it back to the fans and, and, and create something unique and final. And then at the end of the day, as it progressed and new storyboards were brought in and the scripts were rewrote, she was like, look, this, how much of a bonus am I getting? Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's anybody. Like, that would be you, me, anybody else. Harrison Ford had fucking, literally has come out and said multiple times, Blade Runner, he did that for fucking money. He did Star Wars for money. And, and I'll plus with the promise that they'd kill him off. If you haven't seen it, uh, yeah, I don't... And in a that. way, that's what she did here. Like, she wanted to be killed yeah. off. Like, or she didn't want to be killed off, but she wanted this, her, her character arc to be killed off, to be finished. So, I mean, I, like I said, the fact that she started with the right intentions means a big deal. You know? It, it means a lot. So, in, in H2O, like, I liked H2O. I'm glad as fuck H2O exists. I like the ending to H2O, even though they retrofixed it or whatever it was that they did with that crazy fucking story. It is, it is. I even like the crazy story that they tied into it where you fucking, you well, know, yeah, I but, liked it. I thought it was inventive. Because nobody wants, well, nobody wants Michael to die. No. I mean, nobody wants Michael to die, really. But, I mean, it's such a, it's such a strange contrast, though, uh, when you look at what um, the curse of Michael Myers was, H6, and then you jump on board to H2O, and then it feels very studios involved and very, like, I don't know. It was Scream, man. They put the Scream like, music in it. Yeah. They wanted the Scream feel. Like, uh, Batman vs. Superman. I'm not, there's nothing wrong with that, but it, it felt very Avenger-ish. Kind of, you know, yeah. a lot of money was pumped into H2O. It was commercial as fuck. Yeah. So, so uh, unfortunately, yeah. that is what it is. But still, you have a good time watching it. And she's, you know, she's just saying it the way that it is. So. Yeah. And, and last piece of news here, and this is pretty fun, but uh, in another one of the interviews, they asked um, David Gordon Green, how geeky do you want to get with the characters? Are we going to find out uh, what the McKinsey's are up to? Is Ben Tramer alive again? Does that factor in all your references? Uh, and Green said, the only thing I'll say is Lonnie Elam has not gotten what he deserves yet. He got his ass away from that! He would have died. <laughs> so fucking that little jerk off Lonnie is going to get what's coming to him in this movie. You know, I always, I always had this uh, imagination that Lonnie was the, the uh, older dad in Halloween 6 that gets his ass electrocuted in the fucking basement. The, the really asshole set dad. Like, he, it would make perfect sense. Like, if he was the alcoholic... Doing that fucking kid of yours. I only see one bastard around here. <laughs> Just another day at the Strode family. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, that's cool. You know, Lonnie is is gonna appear at some point. I mean, maybe it won't be like a, a big time character, but at least maybe in passing, hey, that first victim of Myers was Lonnie. We're gonna see him Shit. die. Shit, oh goddamn Lonnie. Maybe Michael gives him one of his famous stomach pounders. To reference know. to H6 and the fog. And the fog. I don't want stomach pounders. Stomach pounders. I'm gonna open gross. up a store named it Stomach Pounders. I'm gonna have Michael as a logo. It's gonna be fucking awesome. So yeah, but huge. Lonnie being in it, and again, he probably will be in it. I don't think so. Nope. You know, the, what, McBride's already said that he's gonna you know, give as many nods as he can to the past Halloween entries, and definitely Lonnie would be one, and, and Tramer. So I, at some point, you'll you'll probably you know, hardcore fans will know. Uh, maybe they'll say something. Like, oh, Lonnie got out of his trailer park and fucked his wife, and now he's dead. Like, or I don't know. Something I think like they'll that. show. A, I think they'll show a really gruesome, fucked up death for him. I think. Okay. I mean, that's what I'm getting from the hints. Uh, and, and again, that harkens back to the another reference to the the original Halloween Four Dennis Erickson script. Where Lonnie was a character in mm -hmm. that in that in that movie, so pretty 
pretty bad. I wouldn't uh, mind, you know, honestly, that uh, that script that you're talking about, like, it would have been pretty neat to see Lonnie as an actual developed character in the movie for a bit. I mean, just because people would have known it. But again, it kind of takes out newcomers because they would be like, who the fuck is Lonnie? But look, Ben Tramer should be in an Easter egg after the credits as Jake Gyllenhaal because if H2 didn't happen, That'd he never good. got hit by that fucking bus, man, or that ambulance. What if he got hit by an ambulance again? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you don't get it! Not again! <laughs> so, like right before, like it'd be like Jake Gyllenhaal, maybe he survived that explosion. Maybe it's the ultimate Easter egg and have Deadpool be the one driving the fucking <laughs> Not again! <laughs> God damn it! Uh, comment down below, guys. That's the fucking news. Badass Halloween mask from Trick or Treat Studios. Jamie Lee Looks Curtis good. did H2O for a paycheck. Jake Gyllenhaal has his fingerprint in the Halloween franchise. And finally, Lonnie is gonna get his. We love your fucking faces if you're new to the channel. Click that subscribe button. My turn! God damn whammy! <laughs> Ready for fingerprinting? We watched a movie.